Hey everybody, we're on an adventure. It's 720, we have no idea where we're going or what we're gonna do when we get there, but it's gonna be fun, I can promise that. We're actually going to Cedar River Flow, um, a little bit beyond Indian Lake in New York. Um, we have not camped there yet. Um, we hear it's primitive camping, so we're gonna try it out. Kinda late at night to be starting. Um, it's already starting to get dark. But that's how we roll. We will see shortly. We made it to Moose River Plains. Danielle is already in the privy, so um, we're going to try to find our campsite. See you soon. my sleeping spot between the two dogs Piper Charlie can I lay down can you move either of you guess I'll go sleep outside with the bears good morning it's 6 a.m. We're at Cedar River. We stayed in the parking lot last night because there's no campsites. So we're making some quick coffee and we're getting out of here and try to find some woods that are private. See you soon. 7 a.m. We've got our coffee and we're gonna try our adventure over again. Cedar River Adventure, take two. The speed limit on this road is 15 miles per hour, and that's about as fast as you wanna go. It's pretty bumpy and there are a lot of rocks. Plus there are people out walking around. You can see there's campsites alongside the road here and there, there's one on the left. They're pretty far apart. Some of them are really secluded. Uh, I don't think I'd bring much bigger than a 20 foot camper out here. The sites are fairly small. It turns out if we drove another half a mile last night, we would have found a free campsite, but it was late. It was dark. We weren't even sure if we were on the right road. So we um, picked up this morning and came out and we found a lot of empty campsites, which is good. And this one, I think, is site 27. Site 27. It seems cool. All the sites up here have outhouses and um, fireplaces. So it's nice. So we're going to get things set up. Topper lift is lifting pretty good. I've got six gallons of water and the canoe and the kayak on top. Don't stretch it too much. There we go. Is that enough for it? Yep. We are really happy with our camp setup. It goes together easy and fast. We've got our drawers all organized properly. Used to take us forever straining up tarps and stuff and now it's just done. More time to relax. Piper approves of this campsite. Camp is all set up. We're not really sure what we're going to do today, but probably just have a lazy day. We're not sure where the closest water is, so we might just hang out in the hammock all day and nap. We're on site 27 at the Moose River Plains, and the outhouse here is one of the nicest ones we've seen in the Adirondacks. And we'll show it to you now. It's nice and close to the... Campsite. Woohoo! It's very clean. 
there are a lot of spiders, but that's a given when you're here. We do bring handy wipes with us, but they're to um, just wipe our hands off. And we do bring them to the trash after, not dispose of them in the outhouse. We're just going down the road, exploring. We're not really sure what's down here. So we're going to go check it out. That one goes way deep. Site 35. Well, we turned down this road. I have no idea what's down here. Definitely an adventure. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're scratching up your truck. Yep. Come. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Hold on, don't. Well, don't. Don't say it. <laughs> They'll go after it. I have two of them and my phone. Mm. So many private driveways. There was no signs. No signs. Let's go. <laughs> oh. That's it. This outhouse in Cedar River is for the handicapped, and it's probably the nicest outhouse I've ever seen. It's got a ramp going up and everything. ADA compliant. Game trail right there. Probably Bigfoot. Sasquatch territory. Mm -hmm. That's what I like walking through when I'm tracking a deer because their footprints show up to it and I can walk right through it. Yeah, but that's also where I was. I was walking through stuff like this when I came across that bear and no cubs because that's why I was so quiet because I was walking on that. Yeah. Piper this way. That's what's behind us, wilderness, forever. So we're glad Piper's on watch. Is he sleeping on my forehead? Yep. Charlie's on watch too, but he's probably gonna be the guy that falls asleep. If Charlie was in a platoon in a war, he would be the one shot by friendly fire. <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> he knows we're picking on him. <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> no. I'm not. I'm not. Daddy's bad to mean to you, huh? I know. You're not that.
that bad. You're smart. You are smart. When Piper looks like this, I get worried. It's out there, puppy. When she was asleep, Charlie's still looking that way. Piper's the number one guard. What's out there, puppy? Smell something. She's not happy about something. Somebody had a long day. <laughs> we put her in for a nap. Charlie's in there too. There's a few places in the Adirondacks where you'll find something like this. It's a natural sprain. It's just a pipe in the ground. And if you're lucky enough to find it, fill up any water bottle you can and remember where it is. So if you're ever back in that area, you can stop and fill up. Nothing better than water that comes out of the ground in the Adirondacks. Mm. You haven't tried it yet. Oh, that just tastes like Adirondacks. 